Muhammad Umar Farooq biological video please make sure to subscribe like and share ask the question for answer and comment about the artwork you can also answer question to each other for solving the problem in the comment below so today we will discuss about the male reproduction male reproductive system so the male reproductive system is contain testes and penis which that is penis is a copulatory organ while the testes is the storage of the sperm which that is the gamete gamete contain a haploid cell which that is known as sperm so the development of sperm in the different process which we will discuss in the later video but here we will discuss about the overview of the male reproductive system so here is the male reproductive system with uncircumcised uncircumcised penis so this is the pubic hair and here is the prepuce for skin which that is and here is the scrotum after this uh, after the birth prepuce will be removed some uh, religion cases and that means the glands will be appear so the this removing of the foreskin is very important and beneficial while here is a penis and here is the corona that is also the uh, front is the glands so the testes is made up of uh, different uh, seminiferous tubules we will discuss in later in this video so here just first of all we will discuss about the testes so the testes made up of vas deferens uh, here is which that is the duct or uh, ductus deferens so here is the epididymis is blue color it's head of epididymis and body of epididymis which that is the middle region and while the tail of epididymis is the tail region and tail become a vas deferens so here is important thing is the seminiferous tubule this seminiferous tubule is the interconvulatory tubule is known as the basically uh, interconvulatory tubule which that is integrated to each other and basically is it is used for the development of sperm so the tunica albugina albugina is the red color showing the figure so important thing is that the basically um uh, uh seminiferous tubule develop the sperm and it that was is known as spermatozoa which that store into the epididymis for further maturation so here is the plain section of cross section of the uh, plane of seminiferous tubule which that is the cross section of the seminiferous tubule we will discuss in this time so here i am basically giving a concept about that when the cross section of the seminiferous tubule show the whole character of the seminiferous tubule and their cell so important thing is that the lumen is contain a basically lumen seminiferous lumen of seminiferous tubule contain a spermatozoa while on the basement membrane is the black color shows that the basement membrane and inside of the basement membrane is basically is uh, uh, ugonium or stem cell stem cell will become a ugo, uh, sorry spermatogonia this spermatogonia will be divided to become a uh, basically will be uh, divided to become a uh, inside the orange color shows that the spermatogonia which that is divided into form a uh, into form a spermatids and spermatids the primary spermatids and secondary spermatids to become a spermatozoa so important thing is that outside the black color shows that the cell is known as the basically interstitial cell and inside is also nerve cell nerve cell is give the promotion of the development of spermatozoa and trigger the spermato uh, spermatocytes primary and secondary spermatocyte to become a mature spermatozoa till still the spermatozoa is not a mature so the sperm will be mature into the epididymis so important thing is that and here is the green uh, yellowish color like that is the interstitial cell which that produce the fluid is known as the interstitial fluid and it is also produce the testosterone by the activation of the pituitary gland which that stimulate to produce testosterone which that promote and more growth of the sperm so here is important thing is that important thing is that testes required 1% less temperature than their whole body 
so that is why it is hanging around the body in the downside during the hot weather is too much hanging while during the cold weather it moving upward so that is the reason why so basically important thing is that here we had discussed about the development of the spermatozoa so let's begin to understand the mechanism of just a little bit so we can say that the gamete formation so the spermato sperm sperm formation sperm is a gamete which contain a haploid cell so that is used for the fertilization with the egg to become a zygote and to become a development to produce a embryo embryo formation to become a whole individual which that is the diploid so here is the gamete formation let's begin to understand stem cell will divide and to produce spermat spermatogonia while the stem cell remain behind and maintain their stem cell also proliferation with itself but also produce the spermatogonia this spermatogonia is produced the spermatocyte by the cell division is the mitosis and mitosis to become a diploid this diploid is the crossing over during the cell division and crossing over to become a 2n also but it's changed the genetic material and to become a diploid a uh, spermatocyte that was the secondary spermatocyte after the second secondary spermatocytes meiosis 1 complete to meiosis 2 is begin so that is 2 and 2 and diploid is the two uh, cells which that is um, uh, more divide just like a mitosis but the number of chromosome will be uh, divide it means that 23 chromosome will left behind in one cell and that means that is the second spermatocyte to become a spermatids and spermatids is without the tail uh, the sperm and that is ultimately go into the sperm into the epididymis uh, for more, further maturation so i hope you make sense one spermatocyte primary spermatocyte or one stem cell will produce the four sperms while in the case of female the one cell is produce the one uh, egg by the polar body production so the polar body the uh, three cell will become a polar body of that to become a maturation of the egg so that's important things so i hope you make sense about that this picture is not too much uh, good but i am explaining with the well and good manner to understand so let's begin to understand the uh fronts uh, basically a downside of the penis to check that point and check that the structure by the anatomical aspect and we will also understand the cross section of the penis so first of all we be, will discuss about the here the glans penis is the upper side and urethra is the uh, is a blue color while the red color shows that the corpus cavernosum or corpus spongiosum Uh, and uh, ca corpus ca cavernosum is the in inside uh, blue color and the red color shows the corpus spongiosum while the downside is the uh, 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 cross pinus which that is attached with the pubic uh, pubic uh, uh, sorry ischial uh, tuberosity so that the ischial tuberosity will attach and muscle is attached the downside for the erection and the blood flow more oxygen rich blood flow due to the uh, due to the artery opening while the closing of the vein is the more erection of the penis is the possibility is about that and the more blood pressure will be rise to erect that uh, penis so here is the cross section we show that the dorsal vein and basically here is the artery and urethra and corpus cavernosum and corpus spongiosum which that is showing as a figure in the figure so let's begin to understand the cross section uh, view to understand the sperm release into the urethra or sperm duct so let's begin to understand here is the picture which that is side cross section side cross sectional picture which that we will understand as well so here is the bladder this bladder is used for the urine formation and urine will release and ureter will add the urine from the kidney and the ureter are attached here so here is the uh, seminal vesicle seminal vesicle is very important which produce the semen 
सिक्सटी परसेंट विच मिक्स विद स्पर्म टू मूवमेंट इन द स्पर्म एंड गिव द फ्रिक्शन लेस फ्लूड विच दैट इज गिव द लेस फ्रिक्शन एंड मूव द स्पर्म इन टू द विजाइना एंड गुड फॉर फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड हेयर द टेस्ट इज टू टेस्ट इज आर प्रेजेंट एंड हेयर द एपिडोडाइमस एंड ऑन द अदर हैंड हेयर इज द स्क्रोटम स्क्रोटम इज द आउटर लेयर और आउटर स्किन ऑफ द टेस्ट इज वाइल हेयर द कॉर्पस कैवी नोजम विच दैट इज शोइंग द रेड कलर लाइनिंग एंड कॉर्पस कैवी नोजम एंड कॉर्पस स्पोंजियाजम विच दैट इज स्पोंजी लाइक टिश्यू और स्पोंजी लाइक मसल विद आउट अ बोन एंड कॉर्पस कैवी नोजम इज ऑल्सो द टिश्यू विच दैट इज द आउटर लेयर आउटर साइड सो इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट हेयर इज द यूरीथ्रा यूरीथ्रल डक्ट दिस इज द स्पोंजी यूरीथ्रा दिस स्पोंजी यूरीथ्रा मीन्स इट इज स्पोंज लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एंड द फ्लूड विच दैट इज द म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन आर प्रेजेंट विच दैट इज प्रीवेंट टू द इन्फेक्शन सो आल्सो मैक्रोफाज आर प्रेजेंट एंड हेयर इज द बल्बो रीथ्रा ग्रैंड विच दैट इज डिफरेंट फंक्शन फॉर द सिक्रीशन एंड Uh, secretion and basically giving the nourishment of the uh, sperm movement while here the uh, muscle of perineum which that are present in the back side attached with the backbone and also attached with the uh, attached with the uh, basically uh, a pubic sim pubic symphysis so here is the uh, here is the ampulla of ductus Are difference ampulla of ductus difference which that are present green uh, which that is showing in the figure let's we will we'll discuss and ejaculatory duct are present which that is used for the ejacula ejaculation so <coughs> here is basically here is you can see that here is the uh, muscle it, this is known as the suspensory ligament of penis which that are used for the suspension of the penis during the erection so that is and uh, that is the important things so that is a lot of things so let's begin to understand the testes which release the sperm to move into the here is you can see that is the movement of the sperm to here is the urethra so there's movement is look like this and attach the bulbourethral gland and as well as the bladder is the same direction but the bladder will be constrict during the um sympathetic nervous system activation to release the uh, sperm from and the sympathetic nervous system is used for the orgasm or ejaculation so the ejaculation is sympathetic nervous system while the erection of the uh, penis is due to the parasympathetic nervous system during the rest and digest while the fight and flight response give the ejaculation so the external urethral opening is present here is here and here is the primary sexual character so this was the primary sexual character which that we are understanding but the secondary sexual character is due to the uh, due to the interstitial cell produce the testosterone to give the beard and deep voice and muscular body so that is the character of the secondary sexual character which that is recognized without any intercourse to check that he, that is the male and maleness which that is recognized by the secondary sexual character which that is produced by the primary sexual character so that is why the testis is the primary sexual character which if that is good it means the secondary sexual character will be also good so let here uh, i hope you make sense about that and that means uh, one more thing is important seminal vesicle which that is present in the with the ampulla of ductus which that is release the seminal fluid semen which that 60% is semen while the uh, 40% is the sperm containing uh, semen so that is why here i hope you make sense about that video if you uh, if you like this video please make sure to sub thumbs up and share this video and give the suggestion for new video may reproductive system bye